Are you about ready to go, son? Sure am. Yeah, it's a big day. Sure appreciate how you've handled your end of things, son. You've done a great job. Thanks, Dad. You ought to do all right at those rodeos this summer. I sure hope so. Well, we ought to have these cattle in the summer pasture by nightfall, and then you'll be free to go with Uncle Wilbur. But we'll give him a call as soon as we get back, okay? All right. Gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to introduce a special celebrity that we have here this afternoon. Cal Poly brings to you the great Wilbur Blogger from Fresno, California. Wilbur, Wilbur, what are you doing? You're hunting rabbits, are you? 
I believe I see a rabbit behind you, Boomer. You'll be real quiet. Yes, over there. Look at him, scare the rabbit. It's a 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 rabbit. Will, you aren't going to shoot that little rabbit, are you? No, no, no. Folks, do you want to see him shoot that rabbit? <laughs> One old hungry drunk over here. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Will, did you I got him. I got him. Oh, no. Will. Is he dead? Do, 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 do. Hey, Wilbur Clogger, fine rabbit dog. Really great, Uncle Wilbur. Really great. Guess what? I got beachy buck. <laughs> here, Donald, get in here. We have about 30 seconds. Get in there. 25. Get in there. 3, 2, 1. Wilbur, that's cheating. No. I'm not going for it. No way. Wilbur Parker. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you now one of our top contestants here today, the last year's Sierra Circuit All-Around Champion, Skip Harper. Be our next bronc rider out. Skip Harper. And here he's out of the chute now. Has a good start on that horse and is making a great ride. It looks like it's going to be good all the way to the whistle. Skip Harper, an 85 scored. He had just topped last year's record. You can see why he's a Sierra Circuit all-around champion. Wait a minute, Wilbur. I believe that I have seen Billy the Kid. Billy has arrived. Is that you, Billy? That is Billy. Now listen here. Hey, look up there. Look at what? Two. <laughs> Got me when I was looking, you dirty rat, you! Ah! Oh, look at Wilbur. Are you all right? Now, Wilbur, is that any way to drop? Take that! Oh, no, Billy. I'll tell you what, Wilbur always gets his man in the end. Skip Harper, Skip Harper, after his good action in the saddle bronc riding, is now coming up in the team roping event. Skip will be the header here. He'll be pursuing that animal as fast as he can and getting him turned for his healer to come in and rope those hind feet. Is that the event you're working on for the finals? Yep. Just a few more pointers from Skip Harper down in Woodlake, and I'll have that down pretty good. Skip has a good run started here. He's got the steer turned in a hurry. Got him turned for his healer. There's the catch. And the flag says Skip Harper maintained his lead. You mean he promised to give you pointers too? Uh huh. What are you thinking about? What? 
I was just thinking how great Skip Harper is. I'm gonna be just like him someday. You are, huh? Yep, just like him. Don't tell me, let me guess. You're in a hurry. Would you mind telling me what's so all fired up important? Skip Harper's here. He's gonna give us some pointers on high ropes and stuff. Give some pointers? That doesn't sound like Skip to me. Well, there's a bunch of people here from a TV station. They're doing something on him, so he's gonna give us some pointers. Oh, I see, TV, huh? Don't you like him? He's a great guy. It isn't that I dislike him. I just think you could choose a better hero. Oh, come on, Uncle Wilbur. Skip's got everything. He's a real champion. And nobody pushes him around like... Like what? Nothing. I gotta get going. I gotta get to him before Jeff Murdoch does. Now, wait a minute. What does Jeff got to do with all this? The kids' rodeo finals are coming up next week, right? Right. And I've been waiting all year to win those finals. Just my only real competition. I got to get to Skip first. Now, Billy, there's some things more. I know, I know. You've told me a zillion times. There are some things that are more important in life than winning. And then you start preaching again. Got to go. Wish me luck. Hey, you know what? I think you could talk some sense in that kid. Why don't you talk to him, huh? Is there any problem? 
Okay. It look it looks fine. Looks fine. Now once we start rolling, you just want to look right into the camera. Is my buckle going to be in this shot? Ah, uh, it's going to be a pretty wide shot, so probably. Ready? I'm ready. Uh, are we set right? What about the sun? Does it look okay? Okay. We're ready. Anybody who knows anything about rodeo in this part of the country has heard the name Skip Harper. And I'm here at the Woodlake Rodeo Grounds to get a behind-the-scenes look at a real champion. Tell me, Mr. Harper, how long have you I been... I sure wish you'd call me Skip. <laughs> Skip, um, how long have you been involved in rodeo? Well, that's kind of hard to say. My, my mother claims I was born with a rope in my hands. All your life, then? Yeah, you could say that. Is that why you're willing to spend your time working with these future rodeo stars? Oh, yeah, right. Well, I've always liked kids. I, I try to give them time when I can. Well, uh, why don't we just stay over here and watch you while you go out and work with the boys? I'm sure that we'll all learn something. And don't you go too far away, you hear? <laughs> okay, Skip, we'll be right here. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Well... You know what I got for you? I got something you really like. There, don't get grabby now. And you ought to eat your paint. I didn't forget you. Did you think I forgot you? Look at here. You smell it already, don't you, buddy? How about that? Don't take my hand with you. And Pete, you know all cowboys got to wear their hat. You got to have your hat on. Yes, sir. There you are. Now, both of you guys had something for your belly. I think I ought to have something for my soul, OK? Got to have a little of this soul food every day. Now, just a minute. I'm going to read here in the Gospel of John. That's how it's done. Your turn. Jeff, hey, take him tight. Hey, Billy, you're wasting time. Come on. Don't let nothing get in the way of winning. Billy, come on. <laughs> hey, nice work. Way to take those poles. You see how he did that, Billy? Now, you can't be afraid of him. I'm not afraid. What's that? I'm not afraid. Good, then take him nice and close. Go on, unsaddle. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, um, I want to do this on tape, so can you set up and let's, let's go with this one. Okay. Skip, this is all very fascinating. Feel pretty good, huh? I sure do, on TV and everything. Look, that's all. That's not what Skip said. He I said... I know what he said. I was there, remember? 
Well, it wasn't luck. Okay. Let's have another race. Around those poles again. No, not around those dumb poles. The big one. Huh? What are you talking about? I challenge you to the suicide race. Are you crazy or something? Both our horses are worn out. And besides, Skip said we shouldn't even think about the suicide race till we both get a lot more experience. Let's face it, we're a chicken and a pansy. A pansy, huh? The big TV star's a chicken. Well, come on, I'll show you. Wilbur? And what's a rodeo without a clown? And we've got the best in the West. Wilbur the Clown. You're Wilbur the Clown. Yes, ma'am, I, I sure am. I've always wanted to see a clown without his makeup. You look just like anybody else. Well, thank you, ma'am. Well, over here, Val, is where everybody parks their trailers up on this hill, and you see it's empty now. Now, the suicide race is for those crazier ones of us. Suicide race? Yeah, that's what we call it. You see, we start right about over here. We charge up over those rocks. You mean where those boys are? Oh, no. What are those kids up to? Ah! What can I say? 
That corner belonged to anyone. If you weren't man enough to fight for it... Man enough, I'll show you. Here, you guys, what are you doing? Here, come here. Yeah. Hey, here. hey, that's enough now. Here, here. Break it up. Come here. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Now, that's enough. Here. Just cool it. Get into you guys. You said not to let anything get in the way of winning. How's it look, Wilbur? Well, not too bad. It'll probably be all right in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? The finals are this Saturday. What was you two doing up there in the suicide race anyway? He was cheating. That's oh, I had nothing to do. Here, here, here. Come on now. He saw the whole thing, Billy. I won the race. That's what you saw. Yeah, but we also saw how you won it. Winning that way isn't really winning, Billy. I'm going to be number one, just like you. All-around champion. And nobody's going to get in my way. away from that bull. What's the big deal? He's just a bull. Don't you be too sure. You mean you're afraid of him? Yeah, I sure am.
Well, I could jump over that one. All right. You, Wilbur Plover, and the great American cowboy. Why, sure, honey. Can I ask you a question? Why, sure. How can you wear all that makeup? Oh, just to look funny. <laughs> you know what else? What? A lot of people, they look good on the outside. You know, like there's really something great. Yeah? But you know, God looks down on the inside, past all this makeup, down to the person you really are, see? And it doesn't make any difference what you think yourself. He loves you. He really loves you. He wants to come and live inside of you and make you the best person you could ever be. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it's just... Thank you, Mr. Clown. Uh, give me a kiss. Bye, darling. Here's your program. Thank you. Have a nice Bye. day. Bill, would you take this? <laughs> Billy, would you take the hat? <laughs> hey, is there something on your mind? No. You know what? We're gonna be together for the next couple weeks. You know, we just well talk. You thinking about Jeff? What do you mean? It's not like I messed up his horse on purpose, you know? Yeah, but uh, I just wondered what old Jeff's gonna do there next week with no horse for the finals. That's his problem. You're not thinking I should find another horse, are you? Now there's an idea. Forget it. Every man's gotta look after himself, right? Yeah. Come on, Paint. Here, Paint, come on. I'm sure glad Jesus didn't feel that way. What has he got to do with it? Oh, I'm just thinking how glad I am that Jesus didn't feel that way when it come to going to the cross. What do you mean by all that? You've told me a million times he had to be killed like that to forgive us of our sins. He had a choice, Billy. He had plenty of opportunity to turn the whole thing down. He died that way because he wanted to. In fact, three times he had a chance to say no, and three times he decided to go through with it. You never told me that before. He wanted to? 
What kind of a guy would want to be killed like that? A loving guy. If you knew that your death would make it possible for millions and millions of people to have peace with God forever, wouldn't you want to? Uh, I don't know. Besides all that love stuff. Well, what about it? No man don't walk around talking about love all the time. You don't think Jesus wasn't a real man? He was always saying that sissy stuff like, love him, love her, love each other, love your enemies, love, love, love. That's all he ever talked about. What kind of a real man is that? If you'll come in the camper, I'll show you what kind of real man he was. I picked that up a couple months ago. It's a collection of paintings about the life of Jesus. You see, uh, look at here. See, they started by giving him 40 lashes with a whip. You mean like a bull whip? No, it was more like a bunch of little whips, see, and it had little sharp, jagged rocks on the end of every one of them. You mean so it would cut in? Yeah, uh -huh, deep. And then the guards played a little game with him. They hung a robe on him, and they blindfolded him, and then they started hitting him from every direction as hard as they could. What'd they do that for? Well, I told you, it was a little game with them, see? They said, if you're the son of God, name the man that hit you. See, for them, it was fun. That's stupid. Remember, Billy, Jesus chose to go through with this. He could have walked away from it any time. Now, you remember that crown of thorns right here I was telling you about? Yeah. You see, they jammed that down on his head real hard. And then after all that blood had stuck to his back and the robe had stuck to it, they just ripped it off, you know, like a sore stick into a Band-Aid. But why did they do all that other stuff if they knew that they were going to kill him? Because he was thought as a criminal. And that's the way they treated criminals in those days. You know what? After that, they nailed those big old spikes down on his hands. And they nailed him to that cross. And they also did it to his feet. And they took that cross and they dropped it in a hole with him on there for the whole town to see. He was hanging there in the hot sun for six hours. Hot sun on him. And he was bleeding and thirsty and naked. And the crowd around below, for the most part, was making fun of him. That's how he chose to die for us. But why? He did it for you and for me. You see, he took the punishment that I deserve and you deserve. He paid the price for our sins on that cross. But Billy, he didn't stay in the grave. He rose in the dead to prove that he really was the Son of God. But you still have to choose him to make his death count for you. I, I, I don't know, Uncle Wilbur. I just don't know. I want to be the best. You know what I mean. I want to be the national all-around champion. With Jesus, you can be more than a champion, Billy. I want to be somebody like Skip, a real man with guts. Would you honestly think that after all we've talked about, that Jesus was a man without guts? I don't want to talk about Jesus anymore, Uncle Wilbur. Maybe you need something like that, but I don't. I'm just trying to say that it takes more real guts to do the right thing, the Christian thing, than just look out for yourself. You're saying I don't have guts? I won the suicide race, and I'm not afraid of any old bull either. Billy, I'm only trying to... I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to give me something I don't want. No, it's not that. Jesus wants to be a part of your life. That's why he chose to die, and it takes courage. Courage? What do you know about courage anyhow? You're just a clown, 
A clown who won't even work the bulls. All this Jesus talk, what good does it do you? I'm going to be big like Skip. And no fancy books or words from a coward like you are going to get in my way. Billy, come back. Hey, Billy, wait a minute. Hey, I'm talking to you. Let's go of me. Let go. Listen to me. That hurts. Let go. I said listen to me. Now, don't you ever talk to him that way again, you hear me? What do you care? He's just a bag of hot air that's so full of Jesus, he doesn't even want to be a now, man. that's enough. Well, he is. I said that's enough. Stop it. Now, listen to me. You don't know the whole All story. All I know is the big shot clown is afraid of one stupid bull, and he... Billy, you're going to listen to me if I have to hogtie you right here. Now, I was riding that bull. You? That's right. I used to ride bulls just a couple years back. And your uncle, the coward, was the clown. He never told me that... You didn't bother to ask, did you? I was riding real good that day. I practically had that gold buckle right in my hand. Then in the bull riding event, it happened. Sudden, there he was, Wilbur the Clown. He jumped right in between that bull and me. He did such a good job of making that bull forget about me that the bull got him. Ripped a pretty good hole in his leg, too, before he got away. But he gave them time enough to carry me out of there. Wilbur saved my life, Billy. I wouldn't be here yelling at you today if it wasn't for him. So that's why you never ride bulls. You're afraid, too. Billy, I... You are. You're afraid, aren't you? The big all-around champion is a chicken. Billy, it's not a matter of being well, I afraid. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. You're all cowards. I'll show you. I'll show all of you. Billy, wait. Hey, Skip, would you go get him? I won't do no good. Let him go. Yeah, but he might do. Take it easy, Wilbur. He's just a kid. He'll be OK. I don't know. He will. I don't Besides, know. I got to get ready for this weekend. afraid of you, but I'm not afraid of you. Stupid bull! Come here, bull!
Why did you do a crazy thing like that? Coming after me and risking your life to save me. Well, because I love you, Uncle Wilbur. Love me? I thought love was for sissies. How's your horse? What do you care? He won't make it. That's how he is. I'm really sorry. Sure you are. No, I really mean it. Yeah, I bet you do. No, really, I'm sorry for making your horse fall. I wanted to win awful bad, but... But what? Well, there's no excuse for what I did. That's easy for you to say. You got a horse. So do you, if you want it. Huh? What do you mean? We could share my horse. Your horse? We maybe could switch off in between events. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. All right. We'll have to take him out so you can get used to him. Come on. is one of the finest things I've ever seen. I, I feel so good. <laughs> like I just won something. Billy, you have, you have. In fact, you're going to be more than a champion. All these millions of times you told me. You know, about Jesus and all. I never really listened. Well, it looks like you're ready to listen now. Come on. You've heard it said so many times that Jesus died for you. He wants to come into your life, and now you know it's true. So turn to the Lord and he'll begin to change you let him in and he'll make you more than a champion 